Hello, lovely people. How are you doing? Are you well? Are you good? Here it's grey, and that is summer in Colchester. Yes, summer in Colchester. Very grey. Well, we're not quite there yet. We want spring. I've been watching the birds dancing on the plants outside my window. It's wonderful to see them. Very, uh, very active at the moment. Lovely. Set up a wildlife camera out there. Yeah, I'm a bit like David. Uh, what's his name? Not Attenborough. Bellamy. I'm more his sort of shape. Anyway, how's your lives? Are you well? Good, good, good to hear. This is the Warm and Toasty Online Memory Afternoon, episode 117. Um, with you this afternoon, I'll be joined by Tom and Jeanette, their lovely hosts, in a moment or two. We've got a special guest all the way live from Norfolk. Hi, Chrissy. Hope you're well, Chrissy. We've got a special guest live from uh, Norfolk. Marina Florence will be joining us to sing and have a chat shortly. We've got Jeanette's motorbike or hike video um, coming up. We're going to talk some locality, things that you liked locally. We've got a video from Steve all the way from Kannapolis, North Carolina. Yes, indeed. Um, and we've got Jeanette's poem of the week. Other good stuff over the next hour. Let's see if I can find the lovely Tom and Jeanette. Let's bring them forth. Are you there? Good afternoon. Hello. Hello. How's Hello. everyone? Uh, yes, I'm alive here. Are you alive, Tom? Oh, just, I'm, the line. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> You're hanging in there, Jeanette. You know oh, too well. Uh, apologies in advance for any croakiness, any coughing. Yeah, I'm on the tail end of a very long bout of flu. It's been um, a week and two oh. days already. Oh, well. <sighs> Sorry to hear that. I'm hoping... Good things will come out of it in the end. Like at the end of the show, you'll be like, you're my first, you're my last, my everything. <laughs> Your voice will be so deep. Don't make me laugh. I have to keep Sorry. pressing the mute button so you don't have to keep listening to me cough. <laughs> oh, no, we don't mind. We're just glad that you made it. I just We're sad, but we're making light of a, of a not good. very nice situation. It's good. I, I made light of the situation last night. I went to see a comedian at uh, Charter Hall in Colchester last night called um, Jack Whitehall. And he was so funny. And I wonder if that's why I'm having a bit of a relapse because I laughed for a couple of hours last night. He was hysterical. Jeanette, you know the rules. I mean, me and Tom abide by not going out the night before a show. What is going on? Jack Whitehall or not? Andre, um, our friend of the show photographer, uh, had a spare ticket. And he's just, you know, a couple of days ago said, you are, yeah, I'll be fine by then. Yeah, flu will have gone. I'll be fine. Don't blame Andre. <laughs> it's a free ticket. I'm not going to turn that down. I no, love a free ticket. Not. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed yourself with Justin. Are you all right, Tom? Tom Hardy? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. Yeah. The Tom Hardy, as I mustn't, always say. Mustn't, mustn't grumble. Mustn't grumble. <laughs> you can. You can with us. We don't mind. Yeah. We'll cheer I, you up. Yeah. I sort of. Yeah. It's a bit, it gets you down a bit grumbling, doesn't it? I always find. Probably. Yeah. You sort of, yeah. you know, there's a point where you just then think, no, I should stop now. Yeah. <laughs> you get fed up of hearing yourself. You do really, don't you? Yeah. I think you can also, the, the, the other side of it is you can make yourself happy if you tell yourself you're going to be happy today and you can think, oh, circumstances might not allow that. But if you sort of like, I, I found it recently, if I'm a, bit, a little bit low, I'll sing around the house that picks me up or i just say come on just be happy and i do happy things um most of the people w walking past my window seeing me half naked are not so happy about those things but i am so that's <laughs> um ha uh, hi ho greetings howdy says oh that's steve i thought that was tom hi steve looking forward to your video in a moment or two Hey, okay. I've got something to ask you, Jeanette uh, Lyons okay. and uh, Tom Hardy um, and the audience. What are your favourite local places? So it was a broad theme, a brief theme, a mild theme. Not much of a theme is sort of local stuff today. Um, I'm going to try and make better use of themes. But for now, we're talking yeah. local, local to you. Um, I was thinking about this just a moment ago. What? are your favorite what is your favorite place locally I, I can answer that very easily and it's somewhere that i take visitors to 
um, because I'm, it's just so lovely and it's really not far away. Mersey Island. And you've got West Mersey and East Mersey. And it's a little island that's connected with a, a, just a road that uh, high tide gets covered <laughs> for an hour or two every day. Well, most, I think most days you can pass, but when it's particular high tides. And, but there's everything on this island, and it's just lovely. There's um, really nice seafood restaurants. There's a couple of pubs. They put bands on. There's charity shops. There's a um, nature reserve area. There's beach. There's beach huts. There's cafes. It's just lovely. I really like it. It's got everything on Mersey, I think. Soon you'll be moving there. Um, actually, it really rings true with me because I was going to say my favourite local place that came to mind was somewhere where I go to feel well. And that's Cudmore Grove, East which Mersey. is sort of like a country park that you can yeah. do a coastal walk and you could do a country walk on in yeah. the same one after the other at the same visit. And yeah. it just makes me feel well. And being by the sea makes me feel well. Though I wouldn't want to be there all the time because I feel cold. So I echo your sentiment of Mersey Island. I'm a big fan of Cudmore Grove. Fantastic place. What about you, Tom? I used to, live, I used to live near Cudmore Grove, actually, oh, as a child. That's wonderful. Yeah. So I used to walk along the beach up to Mersey Point. Um, but there were pillar boxes and things on, in the in the woods then. Yes. And then going back years later, they've all disappeared into the sea and things. There are, there is, do you mean the lookout things? Mm. Yeah, yeah. There, there is one, definitely, uh, as you come back round on the country. Yeah, the, path, but, but there used to be quite a few that were still up on the cliffs, mm. yeah. There's a lot of coastal ones. erosion there. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Well, there is, if you go down to Cudmore Grove and you look to the right and there's a little bit of beach, but the the the, the rocks above it are falling down something terrible. Mm. Yeah, well, it's, that, mud. it's just mud, isn't it, really? Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, I'm trying not to chat. Jono, have you not had a word with yourself today? <laughs> Don't talk too much. Let them have a go. What? So would that be one of your local favourite places, Tom, or you got another? I sort of do like it. I sort of, I don't, you know, how local is local? What are we talking? I don't know, because it takes me within 20 minutes. Yeah. Um, or in your own city. We're a city now yeah. in Manchester. I quite like um, I quite like the walk down to to um, distillery. Yeah, I quite like walking down to distillery pond. I quite like it. So are you jumping a, a pool of alcohol? What, what, what well, yes. I mean, there is. It is. A, it is made from whiskey. Perfect <laughs> from. It's at the bottom of my garden. It is at the bottom of your garden. <laughs> Hallelujah! Hallelujah! But I quite like the walk down there, sort of down by the river, and then along. <coughs> Um, but I quite like maybe a bit further away. I quite like going to Pin Mill as well. I was going to write it down, but I can't find a bit of paper. Is it all right if I use this loose bit of toilet roll that I've got on the side to blow my nose? Distillery Way, is it? Distillery, Distillery Pond. Distillery Pond. The Pond. It's around the back of Jeanette's. Pond. Oh, I love it. I might go there one time. I'll leave the toilet roll at home. Um, that sounds really nice, Tom. I should read out a few comments. Um, Jenny Lifko, hi all. I'm watching in Frieda Gunton House again. Ooh, oh, can I just ask about Frieda Gunton House? So, my surrogate mum, uh, Valda, lives in Frieda Gunton House. She's been there since November or December, and that's where I've got the karaoke stuff for. And, and what is Jenny doing there? And is she in the same room as Valda? So, what a small world. What a small world. She's watching it and she says, They're just bringing my lunch, so I can only watch you. Ah, oh, nice. Jenny, we wish you well and uh, we hope you enjoy your lunch. Is that the one next to the... Um... Jumbo. The what? The Jumbo who? Water Tower. Yeah. Yes, that's what I thought it was. Yeah. Yeah. I've been in there. Very nice. Um, yes. Her favourite place is the Headgate Theatre. Jean, she's on a train to Charlton. What are you going to Charlton for? What? Where is Charlton? Charlton is in London, isn't it? It's yeah. where people Charlton get... Charlton Athletic. It's where people normally get a train from, I always seem to <laughs> Come away from it, is it? Yeah, they come away from Charlton. <laughs> um, happy St. Patrick's Day, says Jean. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you, Jean. Where's your favourite local place? Charlton, is it? Bobby Charlton? He's nice, isn't he? Um, anyone else? Tell us your favourite local place. Shops, cinemas, parks, dance halls even, that you used to go to. Yeah, you know, it could be in the past. Night nightclubs. 
I know um, Jeanette likes a good nightclub most weekends. Me? <laughs> most nights, I think. Most nights, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I wish. <laughs> and da down into the distillery of Pond. That's why she's <laughs> the it is right. Yeah, I'm burning the candle at yeah. both ends every night. What do you expect? God bless. Something's going what, we've not talking enough about Jeanette. We should get a video on. She's done another video. Let's get more of Jeanette on the screen. While she can't talk properly because she's had the flu and she's very brave to come on here today. Hey, um, this is a video. A video of Jeanette has made. <clears throat> she makes these. Turn your volume up when this comes on. Turn your volume up because she's nearly getting there. Um, it is her motorbike. I'm going to take us off. It is a motorbike or hike video from Jeanette Lyons. Motorbike or hike? What will it be? Walk or ride in the countryside? Glide or stride? Maybe the seaside? Windswept, sweaty or helmet hair. I'm happy to share and I just don't care because I can go anywhere. Well, today it's a hike. I'm in Kelverden with uh, Mr Ian Fergus, our friend of the show, and um, I'll take a few pictures along the route. Wow, that was a lovely walk. It was about uh, three and a half miles. I really enjoyed it and even stopped in a, a wine bar for a cup of coffee. Just one. And uh, yeah, watch next time for a uh, motorbike or a hike. See what it'll be. The blinking delay. Sorry about that. And coming back on. Almost had a turn there. <laughs> <laughs> flashing lights. Oh, you got flashing lights. I don't know why it does that. We are <laughs> looking at other options from this platform. I have to tell you, we're trying new things. And uh, I don't know why it does that flashing. I don't know about you, but Jeanette, was it was sort of like a cheap um you know when you used to get the uh, people dub films and they'd be in different time. Oh. I saw it. Your voice was you were saying <laughs> something, and then your voice was a little bit delayed. Oh. And I put an extra fifty p in the meter today, <laughs> so I don't know what's going on. It was I'm all in really sync here. Oh great! Oh great! So it's probably just me. Was it in sync where you are, Tom? Yeah, it was fine. Good. Bit, good. Bit quiet, but that's fine. yeah. A bit quiet, but I'll I'll shout next time I do one of these videos, and I'm planning if if I'm well enough. I'm planning to do one on Sunday. So. Oh, go easy. Uh, I was going to say, go easy, woman. Oh, sorry. <laughs> go easy, Jeanette. You know. Take it easy. I know. Look I after myself. Like yeah, be kind to yourself, you know. Yeah. You know what I think it is? I think for, like, February, <clears throat> I was pretty much vegan and teetotal, and it just doesn't suit me, and it's had an effect on That's me. Well, my body you, isn't it? Back. <laughs> and it's like, don't do that, Jeanette. Why are you doing that to yourself? Stop it. Sort yourself out. You're not having enough vitamins and alcohol and, and protein. <laughs> can I just say, can I just say for anyone watching or listening, we are not saying that veganism makes you unwell. Just Jeanette. To stay. If it was that, it might not have been that. So I have been working really, really, really hard. So it could just be that I'm run down and just... <laughs> little clue. There's a little clue there. Or I've been mixing with people that have got germs. Well, that's well, the other thing, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, don't kiss boys, that's what I say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've not, not for a while now. No, no, me. <laughs> um, yeah, well, we're glad you're here with us and, and well done on your videos. And uh, you've, you've put your heart and soul into it and you jump into everything. So thank, thank you very you. much. And I will, they will improve. I promise they will improve. <laughs> she will get the volumized. Yeah, yeah. And, and the scenery. And you landscape. need to take the the audio off and then 
Normalize. Put the audio on afterwards. Well, no, normalize it. And then normalize we'll your voice ah, before you put music. Good idea. I've got the facilities to do that. I've got audacity. So yeah, Ooh, that will do it. Like, yeah. Sorry, Tom. So if you take take the audio section of your video off, yeah, put it through audacity and normalize it, and then put, and it, put back it back on. Ooh, I can do that. You can do that. You can do anything you put your mind to because you learn everything. I do. It's not always easy. But no, but you're learning it from scratch, really, aren't you? you? Yeah. Did you see that? I've got a here we go. Just a little plug here. I've got a CD out today. Me and my band. And look, uh, um, look, uh. look at that design of the uh, swirling pictures, one on top of the other. I did that, and I had to learn some software to do it because I didn't know how to do it. Were you not lying all together in the same room in the same photo? You oh mean? yeah, we were the photos. But then look how the layers of photos slightly twisted oh i see on top of another yes yes and i do. do that was um quite hard work i did have some help a little bit at the beginning with the my friend gary but oh try and get things just how a printers want it and when you don't have photoshop graham looks a bit strange with his face and then his face bigger next to it isn't it yeah no but we all look strange <laughs> look, at, look at richard's chin there's a guy in the stripy top his whole head looks superimposed because it looks like he's got no neck and just his head on a. But then you've, top. then you've sort of zoomed in on it on the bit next to him, yeah, well, just to highlight the fact that he's yeah. got no, yeah. And Tony, all his chins because we're all laying on the floor like that. We're all got loads of chins. Oh, I can't on my picture. I can't see Tony's chin. Uh, yeah, well. can... You're lucky. Yeah. You're lucky. Um, and, and even the CD itself is printed and um, similar photo. <laughs> Get you. Oh, that one's that one's better. Is it better though? Well, you look a bit dead, but <laughs> <laughs> can you not liven yourselves up a bit? Well, you know, <laughs> you're not selling the EP. Give me more. Yeah, <laughs> give me more. We're just boys. falling asleep. Give me more. This um, is I, our... I think it's really nice that you can get all these things on streaming platforms <laughs> like Spotify and Bandcamp <laughs> now, where you don't even have to look at this. <laughs> you can just listen to the music. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. Thank you for that. Christine says oh. she, she loves Finching Field. Oh, Christine, Ooh. Finching Field, because I don't know. It's quite That's a way, nice, it? lovely. They're local places. Do you know, Tom? Yeah, it's a bit further away than, yeah. Well, I don't know. Hey, can I ask you all out there in internet land, are there any features that we um, haven't done for a little while that you'd like to see us doing? Or have you any particular things you'd like us to be doing on our hour, happy hour, Friday, fortnightly online memory afternoon? Is there something you missed that we used to do? Or you think we should do something else? Do let us know. Because we're just trying out different ideas at the moment as we slowly creep our way into 2020. And we should welcome our guest live and direct. I can see her. She's taking a quick swig of a drink. <laughs> uh, it's not alcoholic and she's with us it's marina florence hi marina hey. hi who said it was an alcoholic <laughs> <laughs> what, what sort of alcohol do you normally go for then oh well okay then so you found me out i, I don't drink <laughs> it is just water <laughs> uh, i was so hoping you was a daytime drinker as well no <laughs> no i'm not a daytime drinker i don't drink any alcohol at all only in a tiramisu Right. Oh, nice. That's nice. <laughs> I'm with you now. I don't drink alcohol anymore. Mm. Don't know well, how long that'll last. You can't stop your neck, can you? I mean, <laughs> well, I had a birthday present that is a lifetime membership of the Wine Society. Oh my God. I was like, what am I going to do with that? And they gave me a big voucher. So I ordered half a case of wine that arrived yesterday at Argentinian Malbec. It's very nice. Mm. So if you're a life member, do you get lots of drink anyway? Uh, I think I get lots of uh, special offers and um, lots of information and, yeah, and, and I don't know, access to some of the best wines in the world. But I don't know that they're – some of them are, are cheaper than normal. But you, hmm. you get lots of information about it. That's the thing. I got you want to know what you're yes. drinking and where it's from. You came on here, Marina, to find all about Marie, um, <laughs> Jeanette's wine club, didn't you? Drinking habit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Marina, it's lovely to see you. Chrissy says, hi, lovely Marina. 
Hello. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. a bit echoey. Take the notice of the echoiness. No, we like it because you're um, you're a VIP special person, so you're allowed echo um, on your <laughs> mic. Um, so you're going to sing some songs for us. Before you do, I just ponder in, in my mind um, if you've got sort of any any new stuff coming up. Maybe we can talk about it after you've sung a song. Um, yeah, um, yeah, there's a new song be coming out. It's called Expectation, um, and it's uh, I've decided to do another CD. Although four years ago I said I didn't want to put any more plastic in the uh, in the planet, but then on the other hand, it occurred to me that you know the likes of Adele and Ed Sheeran don't worry too much about that, and I'm only going to be making a hundred. So, and I've got a little recycling message written on them. So, so, oh, bless you. so, um, so let's hope that um, that they do get recycled when people. I mean, you know, coasters, great idea for coasters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Birds, so that album's birds coming scares, out, isn't it? Bird scares. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, so that will be coming out with that, with all the singles that I've released over the last two years. Um, and with an additional new track, Marina so. Florence Greatest Hits. I like that. <laughs> yeah. nice. What? So all of the songs you've re released the singles before will be on it. It will. Yeah, everything that I've released before, because a lot wow. of the people that like my music don't really like streaming, hmm. and um, so and also I found out that streaming has got these huge data centers that are probably pumping out more heat than. Oh, massive. You know, I mean, it, uh, there's one uh, story of a swimming pool in Cornwall that's now being heated by the data center that's next door. Wow. It's incredible. So I thought, well, maybe we better stop streaming and FCDs instead. Go back, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I was going to say, and also with streaming, you have to have a million plays to earn a pound nowadays. Yeah, I realize that you, you know, yeah, I mean, whereas you can at least um, break even with a CD, yeah, it's you know, shame for even though, isn't it? You know, every time people want to break him, um, <laughs> uh, rubbish joke, let's get you singing a song, that's what we want, yeah, for Marina. What are you going to yeah. do first? So, I'm going to sing a song I think most people will know, and uh, so, so don't just sit there and listen to me, maybe just join in as well because. You know, I don't know if you've got people around you. Just ignore them and put your headphones in and sing as loud as you feel like, really. Great idea. It's a, it's a code for life. Ladies and gentlemen, all the way live and direct from Norfolk, it is Marina Flight. I beg your pardon I never promised you a rose garden Along with the sunshine There's got to be a little rain Sometimes When you take you gotta give So live and let live Or let go I beg your pardon I never promised you a rose garden I could promise you things like Big diamond rings But you won't find roses growing On stalks of clover so you better think it over When it's sweet talk in you You can make it come true I would give you the world right now On a silver platter What would it matter? So smile for a while And let's be jolly Love shouldn't be so melancholy Come along and share the good times while we can I beg your pardon I never promised you a rose garden I could sing you a tune and promise you the moon But if that's what it takes to hold you I'd just as soon let you go But there's one thing I want you to know Better look before you leap, still waters run deep There won't always be someone there to pull you out And you know what I'm talking about So smile for a while and let's be jolly Love shouldn't be so melancholy Come along and share the good times while we can 
I beg your pardon I never promised you a rose garden Beautiful, beautiful song, beautiful singing Thank you <laughs> I do for me um, thank you, that was lovely. I noticed that the guitar, I could hear there was a little bit of strange, you know, reverb, re re reverb sort of going on. I don't know what that was. So I, I just backed off on that a bit. I don't know. Sounded I just fine. thought, well, sing it without the guitar. <laughs> and it would still work, Marina. It still work. Who, who originally did that song? Lynn Anderson. Lynn, Lynn Anderson, yeah. Lynn Anderson, right. Yeah. Probably um, another famous version. Didn't, wasn't, didn't um, one of the, the Osmonds, uh, Marie Osmond, didn't she do a version of that as well? Oh, I don't know. Did didn't know that. I haven't yeah, I'm not, followed well, I'm not sure. Career, so I don't yeah, know. I can only remember the Lynn Anderson one. She had a huge mm. hair. Yeah. Didn't she? That's yeah. right. Yeah. I'm like the polar opposite of that. <laughs> <laughs> easier to manage, isn't it? Yeah, much easier. She no. probably, um, yeah, she probably put a hole in the ozone layer just by herself, I think, with that. <laughs> spraying that in. With a hairspray. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, Marina's not on Facebook anymore. Is that right, Marina? You're still not No, on. I haven't been on there for a long time. I'm considering just opening up a music page, but I hate it there so much. I hate, actually, I hate all of them. So I suppose it's no worse than any other one. They're all oh. horrible. Um, you, you hate it more than Twitter? Well, I did, but I'm not so sure now. <laughs> Twitter's, Twitter's really bad. It's, a, it's, not, it's, use, it's useless, actually. It's useless, completely useless for anything. Yeah. It's weird because Twitter, historically, has been my, as a music artist, has been the place of sort of yeah. one of the best places to sell music. Yeah. And, and now, I mean, it's just full of adverts. Cool. Don't go on Insta don't go on Instagram then because they're all getting the same. Well, yeah, yeah, that's that is the same. But at least you can see other people's. You know, you have to actually physically click on something and look at something there. Yeah. You don't have to look at the adverts, but these are surreptitious adverts because you might go to somewhere and then underneath you, you look at what the replies were, and then there are three million adverts before you see the replies. Yeah, I hear your pain and I feel your pain. Uh, I, I should say to people, Marina Sand, she's not on Facebook. I know she is when she's performing, which just means she, that she doesn't have a personal page or a, a musician page. So if you do want to go and find um, Marina's uh, Expectations album, um, go to www, though you don't even need that anymore. You just go to marinaflorence.com and the information's there with some nice little... Um, some artwork there is that by Martha Richler is that right yeah Martha Rickler. Rickler she um, I met her actually I mean I talk about social media not being good but I met her <laughs> via Twitter um anyway she she's done she's done some cartoon work for um Evening Standard and and people like that she's also a, ra a radio host and um she stopped drawing for a while because of a thing that, an, an emotional thing that happened to her and I just thought, well, I'll ask her if she did it, if she would do the album cover, and she said yes. And yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so it's really, really lovely that she did that for me. Yeah, I look forward to uh, expectation is the album, not expectations. Yeah, it's apologies. based on a um, a book. There's a book I highly recommend. A book called The Expectation Effect by David Robson, and um, very, very life changing book. I would say worth worth reading. There you go. The Expectation Effect by David Robson. Yeah. Thanks, Marina. Um, OK, we're going to pop off just for a moment or two. We'll have you back on the second song in a moment or two, if that's all right, Marina. Thank you. There goes Marina. Marina Florence, ladies and gentlemen. And hello to Duncan. He says, hey, up, chums. Hey, up, Duncan. How are you doing, like? Are you all right, lad? Um, now we've got a special video, I do believe. Yes, we have from our friend Steve. Steve Brady, some people know him as Sparky, some people call him um, not motorbike or hike, Jono, that's the wrong one. <laughs> this is um, Steve lives in uh, Canapolis, North Carolina in America, and here's a little walkabout video he did for us. Um, just tune in to uh, what's happening in America, in North 
Carolina, Canapolis at the moment. This is Steve's little a walkabout with Steve video. Morning in Canapolis, North Carolina. What do you say we take a walk around? Continuing our walk. This is the new downtown Canapolis, North Carolina. Canapolis used to be a uh, textile town. Cannon Mills used to be here. They've recently redone the downtown area. This is the new Atrium Health Ballpark, home of the Canapolis Cannonballers, a single-A affiliate of the Chicago White Sox, don't you know? Since 2001, the ballpark was opened in 2021, so we're only a couple of years old. I've seen uh, one game here, actually, and it was a fun time. I hope to get back again. Just a short way off of the main street downtown is this little park. It's just Tribute Plaza to the great Dale Earnhardt race car driver. Let's look inside. Here we go, a lovely video from Steve, uh, Steve Brady, um, from the US of A, from Canapolis, <coughs> Carolina. Thanks for sending that in, Steve. It's lovely that you did that. You took the time out of your day. Steve, for anyone that doesn't know, he's not only in the past, he's been a great DJ, probably still is a great DJ, um, but he um, he's the chief engineer. He does the laying out of the artwork for the newsletter for the warm and toasty newsletter of which we're going to have a spring edition issue coming up very soon. So anyone that likes the, our newsletter, look out for the new one coming up in, in the coming weeks. It's uh, nearly ready, nearly ready. Steve's working on it at the moment. Duncan says, is a Carolina police siren, is that a Carolina police siren in the background? Only Steve can answer that, but I believe he's with us. <laughs> I can't say for sure for legal reasons. But I will say, if anybody wants to do a little video of them just walking around their local area, um, to say, sharing a few words, just a short little video, please send them in. Um, we'd love to see them. Uh, it'd be great to see them. Um, I like seeing other places. 
How about you, Tom and Jeanette? Yeah, I was just looking on uh, Google Maps at, at uh, where Steve lives. Canapolis. Yeah, yeah Canapolis. near. Nice near, name. Near Charlotte is a is a big town. Oh, yeah. near. It looked really clean, didn't it? Really, oh, really clean. Kept and and having a sunny day as well. That's always going to help. But that was a lovely video. It's nice. I feel like I've been there now. I was I was looking to see how close it was to the sort of sea. And um, um, so I just sort of picked a place. It's like three three hours to get from his to the city. Everything looks <laughs> is so much bigger, isn't it? It sort of looks like oh, that's not far. I thought, well, yeah, that'd be right. Yeah, it's like the other side of England to us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and as Steve mentions himself, that was him. That was Steve plucking on his ukulele. Oh, was it? Oh, I was thinking, what a lovely soundtrack. That was really nice. Was um was that a Carolina police siren you're referring to? Steve, or was that something that Duncan picked up in the background? I don't know. You know, you don't notice these environmental things, do you, when you're sort of walking about? Um, oh. And we don't get it. We used to get it. No, 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 the police. Don't get no no nurs anymore from the police cars. No. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. I mean, also, you don't get white dog poo as well, which is probably good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What was that? Bones? What was that? Why was it white? Still, we ponder. That was a lovely video. Thank you. We're hoping Steve might be tempted to send us a few more of his local walks, a bit like Jeanette's motorbike or hike. Steve's um, out and about with Steve in Kannapolis, North Carolina. Maybe we'll get some more. Um, we'd love to see it. There's a place near him called Salisbury. Oh, Salisbury Plain, eh? Yeah. Oh, Cornelius. That looks Cornelius. Cool. He was good in that Planet of the Apes. Yeah. Um, Eve says <laughs> that's King Lear's daughter, isn't it? <laughs> also, um, Dun when Duncan says, Is that a Caroline police siren in the background? Steve says that was him referring to the, the playing his ukulele. <laughs> Duncan's right. funny, he said something the other day that really made me laugh, and I have quoted him since. He said that, um, somebody had uh, got a, a Wivenhoe cold or something, and it was like, Oh, and apparently that means a hangover. <laughs> <laughs> the village he lives in. <laughs> <laughs> very good, very good. We should uh, welcome our guest back. She's she's live and direct as as it happens. Three, two, one. Marina Florence, all the way from Norfolk. How's Norfolk doing, Marina? It's doing all right. It's a bit rainy today, but other than that, it's uh, been quite nice here, to be honest. It's been chilly, but it's a lovely county. Can highly recommend it. Yeah, I like Norfolk. I used to holiday there uh, as an adult um, quite a lot. It's really good. Are you, you yeah. north Norfolk, up near the coast, which is beautiful. no South Norfolk, really close to Suffolk. Oh right, uh, my cousin yeah. lives in Dis. But... Yeah, just uh, this is about twelve minutes from me, oh. in a southerly direction. Yeah. yeah. Are, you, are you near Roy Town? No. I don't <laughs> Boys town, like Roy. Oh, um, boys of Wroxham. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I used to live in. Um, I used to live in Ludham, which is just up the oh, road. Oh yeah, my brother lived there. Yeah. yeah, and uh, yeah. So you just avoided Wroxham at all all costs <laughs> uh, if it was a kids' holiday or the weekend because it's absolutely heaving. Uh, nice yeah. fen walking around there as well. Yeah, it's, it's it's a really lovely county. It's got a bit of everything. Yeah. yeah. Um. Nikki, am I here? Is this live? Where am I? <laughs> I well, I hope so. But you're definitely here, Nikki. <laughs> just in time to hear Marina sing her second song. What have you got for us, Marina? So I'm going to sing a song called "Every Woman," and the reason I'm going to do that is because, unbeknown to me, this I only found out I think it was yesterday or the day before that um, on BBC Radio Norfolk they've been playing it as their uh, record of the week. Wow. Um, I think because of um, BBC introducing Put It Forward, Norfolk, and there, um, I think it's all to do with, um, was it Women's, International Women's Day? And uh, so they chose this song, which is a, a really big honour, really, because you know how many songs, you know, come knocking at people's door, you know, literally thousands. So to, to, yeah. to get that spot is really, really good. So I thought well I'd done. Well done. Yeah, well done. Congratulations. That's wonderful. Mm. Yeah. Well, we'll get out of your way and we'll let you do your wonderful thing. Um, ladies and gentlemen, once again, it's Marina Florence. When nothing matters When no life is at stake Fly 
I be on the border? She's free to escape. She's a photograph where no photo should be. A burning image of our future history. A flame that glows in the dark for you. For me, she's a woman. When life and death are one, she raises the flag on barricades, holds the light above New York, keeps her seat on every bus. She's a photograph where no photo should be. A burning image of our future history. A flame that glows in a band of eternity. She's a woman. When the last page is turned. She leads you on to the promised land, sets you free as the final scene fades. Always on your side, she's a photograph where no photo should be, a burning image of our future history. A flame that glows in a sweet, sweet memory. She's a woman. She's every woman. Every woman. Lovely, Marina. Thank you. Um, and very well deserved. Um, congratulations on being record of the week, uh, song of the week, or whatever it was you called it. It was at record of the week record they call it on, and then they they pick one to play out every day at ten past four on BBC Radio Norfolk uh, from the BBC introducing pile that, that that goes there. So it's good to know that BBC introducing don't care, you know, about age. You know, they just if if it's if if they like it, then they play it. They don't bother whether you're 15 or 65. You know, it's uh, 85, whatever. If they like it, they'll play it. Yeah, and also I think you're a great story and I think you're a great inspiration to people. Um, you, I know you're not always might think that, but you are uh, inspirational in what you do um, because of your talent, because, you know, you convey a lovely message and that's really important. Well, and those those words um, um, are also the song is co-written with Richard Pierce, so um, who who is a, an author and a lyricist who I, who I love to work with because I just throw an idea at him, and and then he just comes back with it all written out, you know, and and then he's quite happy for me to you know change things and 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 have my input. But I mean, he really is an awesome person to work with. So yeah, I'm have to give him credit there. Yeah, well done, Richard. You throw any catches and then he runs with it. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> You're Jenny, very good at uh, giving sorry, praise Jenny. to other people, which is really lovely. That's yeah. ever so nice. Well, um, where it's due, you have to give it, don't you think? I think so, but some yeah. people don't, and I think that's mm. lovely. Yeah, you are a very good person, uh, and very talented too. <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Jenny, she says, um, I lived in um, Ludham, Marina, about 1972. Oh, really? Oh no, I wasn't there in '72. No, I was I was still in Cricklewood in '72. Yes, that's where my mum and dad lived, uh, and my nan in Cricklewood. Uh, Jenny says we had the small village store. It's not a shop anymore. A holiday rental now, I think. Jeez. Oh right, I know the village store because I I, I don't think I was there till um, probably would have been there about 1980. I don't know, five or six, something like that. Right. I, can't, I can't remember. It'd be around about that time we would have been there. 
I mean, it I had one of, the, one of these little places on the stave. Sorry. <laughs> you had a little place on the stave, did you say? Yeah, it was a tiny little place, a little uh, uh, sort of like one and a half bedrooms up and and one big living room downstairs. And it was in an old a malt house um, there that was right by the stave. You could walk out the door and then you'd just be by the stave. Tiny thing. It was like, it was about, I don't know, 15 foot long by nine foot wide. But it was lovely. Excuse my ignorance. What is a stave? Oh, you know, where the boats are moored on the broads. So just the end. It's the, like the end of of the river. So you'd come okay. out and then there'd be all the, the, the boats moored at the end of... of uh, or, or, or the end or the beginning of the river. Right. Just a place to moor up, really, yeah. Nice. Everything you say is, is so lovely and romantic. Yeah, and nice, it's a isn't it? thing. Um, uh, but not on this point. Jenny also adds another point. White dog poo was when <laughs> dogs are fed just raw meat, much more mm. pleasant to deal with. I don't know what she's dealing with it. But she, it's much more pleasant. Duncan says, I'm going out drinking in Colchester tonight on St. Patrick's Day. That may wait, not be a big it? deal to you, but I've never driven a bus before. Happy St. <laughs> Patrick's, everybody. <laughs> and he also adds, before you pop off, Marina, he also adds that, um, <coughs> thank you, Marina. That was lovely, your song. Thank you for listening. It, well, it was a two. It was indeed two yes i can't find words to actually go in a sentence marina we'll see you in a moment or two we'll be back with you shortly okay bye thank you mate um we are now i've got a quick question for you if you want to win a warm and toasty badge i will post one to you if you get the question right and you want one you have to send me your, your dress. I can't psychically guess that answer the question whilst we do the next feature if you put a, a comment in who played in the 1960s the lead character in the film Alfie? That's it. Now, 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 now we have time for Poem of the Week. Hey, it's Poem of the Week. It's song touch short and sweet. It's Poem of the Week. It's always man in peak. Wow, this week's poem is um, brought about because, you know, one of my favourite poems, uh, poets, I should say, so I hope my voice holds up, is uh, Brian Bilston. He's very funny. And I managed to bag a ticket to his show in, I think it's October or November this year in Colchester. I couldn't be more excited. And when I said on, on I don't know, some list about, oh, I'm going to the Colchester show, Brian Bilson himself said, look forward to seeing you there. So if there's any chance I can actually get to talk to him and tell him how often I read his poems on the show, I will. It wouldn't be great if I could get him to read one, but nobody knows what he looks like. He always covers his face and all things. So anyway, here is a poem by Brian Bilson. It's called How to Avoid Mixing Your Metaphors. It's not rocket surgery. First, get all your ducks on the same page. After all, you can't make an omelette without breaking stride. Be sure to watch what you write with a fine-tuned comb. Check and recheck until the cows turn blue. It's as easy as falling off a piece of cake. Don't worry about opening up a whole hill of beans. You can burn that bridge when you come to it, if you follow where I'm coming from. Concentrate. Keep your door closed and your enemies closer. Finally, don't take the moral high horse. If the metaphor fits, walk a mile in it. And that was called How to Avoid Mixing Your Metaphors by Brian Bilston. Very clever and funny guy. Very nice. And I think he's playing the uh, Colchester Arts Centre soon. That's what well, might be well, in the new soon. year. I'm not sure. No, it's not soon. It's um, October or November because I have a ticket. Dun, dun, dun. Well done. <laughs> um, just lovely poem. I'm just moving it along because we've got 10 minutes left and I won't give time for Marina to have her last song. Yes. Um, on the question of who played um, Alfie in the 1960s film, it was, of course, Michael Caine. Well done, Nikki, and well done, Duncan. I've got your address, <coughs> Nikki. If you want to message us, the, the club, your uh, postal address, and I'll pop one in the post as soon as I get a minute, um, which will be sometime soon. Hi, Lucy. Lucy, our um, volunteers just popped on there. She's lovely. 
So is Marina Florence. We're asking her back for her last song. Are you there, Marina Florence? Yep, still here. Yes. Still standing in exactly the same position in case my uh, in case my camera goes out of focus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not moved. Not oh. moved for an hour. It has been really, really clear though, Marina. It's lovely. Although, you know, mm. I, I personally love a bit of soft focus, but you don't need that and you look beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I like your fairy lights as well. Wow, just yeah, an add a little it. special thing. Yeah, a touch of Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we yeah. are in March, Marina. Just just adding that. It's dark enough, isn't it, for Christmas? Yeah. It does feel like it, yeah, I know. Oh, look, this Santa just going over my back fence there. <laughs> Get out of it. Um, what are you going to do? Are you going to? Sorry, sorry I, I, I just need to because I've, I, I did actually do this. You asked me to bring something that meant something to me. Yes, thank you. I for just reminding really, me. you didn't really say, so I didn't want to pressure you. This. Oh, so we asked Marina, is there something a show and tell? Bring something you like, and no. she's bought a warm and toasty mug. How, yes. how delightful! Thank you. Because I will keep that warm and toasty mug for all of my life because of the fact is that I've done many things because of the warm and toasty club, and many things wouldn't have happened unless I was asked to do them by the warm and toasty club. Oh. So I just want that's why that's why it will stay with me all of the time. Oh, Till I'm bless Ninety-five. You. I'll have my coffee out of it, or, or my low cow something that I'll have to have by the time I'm ninety-five. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's a lovely thing to say. You are a lovely person, and we're very, very happy that you're probably the longest serving um, guest we've had, not only on our live shows <laughs> here online, but you've been with us for, for quite a while now. And just, just, I know you, it's you, really hard, hard to get rid of me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we love having you, and as do, do our audience. Um, and what are you going to give our audience to finish off? Oh. I'm going to sing Help Me Make It Through the Night. And, um, yeah, I, wa I want you all to help me make it through to the end of this song. So uh, we'll sing along. Also, also enable me to stand up for the next three minutes. <laughs> we'll be willing you on and we'll be rising you up. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, for the last time this afternoon, it is the wonderful Marina Florence. Take the ribbon from my hair Shake it loose Let it fall Lay it soft against your skin Like the shadows on the wall Come and lay down by my side Till the early morning light All I'm taking is your time Help me make it through the night I don't care what's right or wrong and I won't try to understand Let the devil take tomorrow Lord, tonight I need a friend Yesterday's dead And tomorrow's out of sight And it's so sad to be alone Help me make it through the night Come on, you can do it all together now I don't care what's right or wrong and I won't try to understand 
Let the devil take tomorrow. Lord, tonight I need a friend. Yesterday is dead and gone, and tomorrow's out of sight. And it's so sad to be alone. Help me make it through the night. I'm going to dedicate that to Dave. Okay. What a lovely gesture as well. Thank you. That's nice. Yeah. Bless you, Marina. Thank you very much. Um, that was wonderful. And I was singing along. Um, I don't know if you could hear me, but. Uh, it was wonderful. You are a wonderful person, very talented. It's uh, It always fills me with joy and also kind of really relaxes me when you're on. Good. <laughs> um, Maybe everyone else has fallen asleep. <laughs> no, no. Lucy says, yay, Marina. Thank you. Nick Thank you, Lucy. Look, sorry, Marina. Marina, uh, Nikki says Marina is brilliant. I had a long time to make that decision, and it's definitely correct. Um, <laughs> Lol, you three are great too. Oh, there's my front Aww. door. One second. Will you ask Marina a question, Tom or Jim? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not on the spot at all. Ooh, <laughs> Marina, do you have any gigs coming up now that you know there's there's no such thing as COVID anymore? I'm doing a gig in um, at the end of uh, March. I'm going up to Scotland, and we're coming on our way back. We're coming via Whitley Bay, and I'm going to do do, a, do a, a little small sort of house gig there. Right. I've, I've actually got a gig in a Buddhist centre in Northampton. Wow. I don't know what that's going to be. It's outdoors. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get us video of that. Yeah, we call me back. We need to know that kind of thing. Yeah, oh, totally. We've got gigs coming up, though. I like that. It's good. Yeah. I wish yeah. you were gigging. Are, are you coming to any live events, uh, warm and toasty live events anytime soon? I was just looking. She's. In, I think Marina's in Shrub End, but not till November. So I'm looking to see if I can get her on before then. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a way off, isn't it? November. A way off. But yeah. we're, we're quite booked up, really, to be honest. I think they would love you. Um, you broke our records in Green to the Community Centre in November, yeah. the highest ever attendance at a memory after, and I think people would love you back then. But I was just looking, thinking, there isn't actually a space. I don't think. Make, make them wait till November. They'll be queuing out the door. <laughs> yeah, and the corner. yeah absolutely. Got a record out as well. <laughs> um, yeah, absolutely. Um, What's happening today? We're going to finish off now. We're thankful. I'm thankful for Tom and Jeanette and Marina being on the show. Uh, and I'm thankful for you lot for being with us. And I'm sure we all are uh, and tuning in. Thanks very much. We'll be back again in two weeks' time. But um, I've lost that it's gone missing the outro music. So we can't really play some outro music. We just want to say, Christine says, Thank you, Marina. Thank you for a lovely afternoon. Jenny says, Great, Marina, my favorite. And thanks for the show, gang. Um, Duncan sends applause. And, um, yeah, that's our afternoon. We'll be back again in two weeks' time on a Friday at 1. Do join us. And until then, thank you to the gang. And we'll see you in a few weeks' time. Bye, St. Patrick's Day. Ah, happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.